What is good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima, story time music! Swirlers have not been reporting on the stories that expose the truth about bad people. Meaning that you have bad men, bad women, you have black men that are bad, you have white men that are nice, you have white men that are nice, you have uh, black men that are bad. But it seems that only one side of the story is often told when it comes to black men and abusive behaviors. None of them really come out from white men in their bad behaviors towards black women until today. And a brother showed the story or shared the story with me of a Mississippi police officer who was dealing with a young woman by the name of Dominique Clayton. And Mrs. Clayton had, I believe, several children, not just him, uh, four children. And she was dealing with this particular white police officer, Matthew Paul Kenne or Kine or whatever. Stop the show. He looks crazy in the beginning. Like, just look at him. He looks like he kills and steals and all the kind of stuff, right? But now, what happened is, Matthew didn't tell, or rather, Dominique Clayton, booty clapping sounds! <laughs> yeah, they were getting it in. And she knew that the officer was married. Can I get a da 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 sound effect? She knew she was married, the, the officer was married, but she would still let him hit, that, hit those draws. But she forgot that he was also crazy, possessive, and deranged. Stop the show, look at him again. Don't he look like somebody that will just kill everything? Absolutely, because he is. Anyways, okay, what happened was she wanted to break up with him. She got tired of dealing with him, tired of being a side piece, and she was threatening that she was gonna expose the affair to his wife. Stop the show. That's when she messed up. Can I get some gunshots, Dima? Exactly. So what happened was her eight-year-old son, after the four children went to spend the weekend with their uncles, they came back and found their mom shot dead in the head, okay? And they soon took Officer Kinney, or Kine, whatever his name is, into custody, charged him with murder, and he actually admitted to it, all right? He broke, so this is what he says, date music! He's remorseful. This was a situation where he literally got to the point where he broke. This has been a law-abiding citizen, a law enforcement officer. He had no prior history. He literally got pushed to the brink of breaking and he committed a crime of passion. Now, stop the show. Whenever the white man does something wrong like this, we can, you know, you know, the attorney, we can pretty much forgive him, right? He's He was um, a law-abiding citizen, a law enforcement officer. He was a cheater. He was cheating on his wife. Okay, he was sleeping with his wife with a single mother of four black children. And he thought he was getting some easy booty. And when he didn't want to face the music, he killed her. Okay, and he's going to take a plea of a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Now, this is like the, 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 the third or fourth story this week I've done about Caucasian men who are doing things to African-American women. One guy was accused of, uh, you know, spreading HIV to sisters out in Florida. And, you know, I know you have one particular YouTuber right here who talks about that, you know, black women need to expand their options and choose character over color. Well, what about this? What happens when you're choosing color over character? What's happening then? I'll tell you what's happening then, okay? Because, see, you're thinking that because white men can't make many mistakes, they're not gonna do the same thing. Like, how many, you know, for example, Mississippi. It's a, it's a lot of blacks in Mississippi. Let me deal with the white officer who is married. He don't want to marry you. He can't marry you. You have four children. He's crazy. And then you threaten a police officer who believes he can get away with the murder and kills you while your kids are away. What about these situations that African-American women are facing in interracial relationships? I mean, we've seen it earlier. You know what Chad Wheeler, remember him? And he beat his girlfriend up and all that stuff. Like... What is it going to take for, 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 for people to realize that interracial dating, wherever you go, there you are, okay? That just because somebody is white 
or just because somebody is black, or just because somebody is Hispanic or whatever, it, it it doesn't guarantee who they are inside. It doesn't make them a bad person or a good person or a person that's in the middle. You know, and a lot of times, you know, I, I see people like I was talking about Sansa Ray, who talking about like, you know, black men are not deadbeat, black men are deadbeat dads, and white men are good dads. You know, and then it comes to the point where it's like, well, what about the men that you're dating? Maybe the men that you're dealing with are deadbeat dads, but that doesn't make all black men deadbeat dads. Situation here with this particular Mississippi police officer, okay? Is he a good white man because he's white? No, he killed a lady and took her from her children. All because he wanted to be a cheater. All because he couldn't be faithful to his wife. And he didn't, he couldn't want to run into his problems. So then he created a bigger problem for himself, which is a life in prison. And the only reason why he did it is because he felt he can get away with it. He felt he was above the law. Didn't even think it through. All right. So I want, I want you guys to understand that. I want you guys to listen to that. You know, sisters have to go, stop going around, and brothers too, putting other groups of people above your own because you have a better perception of them or because you've had some bad experiences with your own people. So, uh, you know, obviously these people are gonna be better. No, and you're not gonna hear any swerves talking about it. They're gonna know about the story. They won't, they won't, it, it goes against the narrative. Get you a white man and some of these guys, get you a black, get you a, a white woman and some of these other guys out here who wanna say, you know, deal with these other groups. Listen, okay? There are guys in Colombia right now that are getting drugged, scopolamine, whatever it is, getting robbed of everything all the time. Okay, how many of you guys deal with black women in America and gotten robbed? Hardly ever. You go to Colombia over there and then you get robbed. You lose everything because they put stuff in your drinks and take it all from you. Then you're talking about, oh, well, I'm so glad I escaped the, escaped the matrix. You're running into the same problems, if not worse. People are good or bad everywhere in the world. And to basically say, oh, you're a nice person, you're a greater person because you're white, it's, it's, it's BS. Stop hating on your own people like that. It doesn't make any goddamn sense, okay? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Prepare for t shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.